Hello all, uh, this is a uh, continuation uh, from the first part of uh, tweaking XFCE4, in this case in Arch Linux, uh, running in VirtualBox. And as I mentioned, uh, you can make a backup of your XFCE4 folder inside the config folder, which is here. So just a quick recap and your settings are in here. So I just want to uh, talk about a couple of uh, subtle changes you can make and the first thing I like to do is uh, go to application settings settings manager appearance and then under uh, fonts I change this the hinting from full to slight and for me to the way I see things my eyes uh, it looks better a little better a little sharper um, you can change the sub pixel order like our RGB I'm not sure how much difference that'll make in here, but so we'll close that. Now, as far as desktop um, icons and the way they're shown here, I, I personally don't use them. I don't use desktop icons, um, but if you want to use them and you want this to be a little more transparent looking, uh, the Arch Linux wiki has a neat file that you can just copy and paste, and it has to be called uh, GTKRC. Dash 2 and so I made a backup of that and I'll just drag it into the home folder you won't see it because uh, the files are hidden so I press control H you see it here, here where that there it is and double click and that's what it is and this is exactly what's on the wiki in uh, I'll post a link to that if you need if you need that uh, link so uh, for it to take effect let's just log out and I haven't re-enabled uh, Slim yet, my login manager. So we'll just uh, log back in with Start X. And you see the desktop icons are are a little more uh, have the background is a little more transparent looking. So as I said, I don't like the icons on the desktop for some reason. I don't know. Uh, so I just go to the do that again. I just go to the right click on the desktop desktop settings or you can do it from the uh, settings menu either way go to icons and then I just uncheck these and just leave uh, the rest I just press close there if you want and if, if that's what if you like it the way it is you can stop right here and you can make a backup another backup say XFCE4 custom whatever you want to call it uh, but remember if you restore that original file that you made a backup everything will come back except for the GTKRC file um, because that's not in the XFCE4 folder. Uh, so your desktop icons, if you have them, if you use them, will be semi-transparent. All right, um, so moving along, uh, I like uh, this menu is fine and uh, it serves, you know, it serves its purpose. You can find what you want. Uh, the app finder, you can uh, it's great for finding stuff. You press Alt F2 or just click the search icon here. Um, one thing I like though is uh, a menu is called uh, Whisker, and you can get that in Yowart. Yowart, yeah, strange name. I forget. I think yogurt, I guess. Um, Yowart um, Whisker. Not, not most, <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> not whiskey. All right, so it's uh, the first one uh, right here, the plugin, and it's number one. So you just press one, of course, and answer no to edit and yes, or press enter to keep building, and so on. Edit and install, no, continue building, and give that a little bit of time to download and uh, compile, and uh, we should be good to go. There we go. And there's several ways you can add this. Uh, let's keep it straightforward. We'll just go to the settings manager, the main settings manager. Go to panel, and it's our first panel. And we go to items here. And you can see they have the application menu, the window button, this, a separator, and then the workspace, and so on. So we're going to click the add button. And it's under whisker menu, so down through, near the bottom. Whisker menu, click add, close this. You see it's on the top right. 
uh, we want to move this up to here. So first of all, let's just remove the application menu and say yes to remove. And now we just click the arrow up, up, up to the very top. And now you see it's here on the top left. So this is the whisker menu. You click on it and it already has this search built in so you don't really need this anymore. So if you type in Firefox or something, it's there, you know, basically like a window uh, panel uh, with the search uh, facility in there. And you can right click and manipulate like add to desktop, add to panel, sort alphabetically or remove. So I'm going to remove a couple items. You go back to look for Firefox, whatever browser, for example, add to favorites. Um, down here is uh, all settings, lock screen, and your logout um, dialog. So all settings you see here is the same thing. And right clicking on the icon, go to properties, and the panel button itself, um, you can have it display just the title, and title and icon, icon and title. And you can change the icon, you just click on it. And I downloaded an Arch Linux uh, logo. So I'd go to, it's in image files under pictures. And it's this one here. And you can see now it's changed to an Arch logo. Make sure that's a transparent PNG file. Uh, so where was it? Pictures. If I double click this and open the Im imagery, you can see that it's in transparent background. Like it is large. You see it's 12 by 1200 by 1200 but it'll resize it. So you don't have to worry too much about manipulating the image. Okay, so the whisker menu, um, another thing you can do is I made a note uh, for the shortcut. I'll put this in the description. You can uh, bind a key to this here, uh, XFCE4 pop-up whisker menu. So just go to your start start menu, whisker menu, and just type, type, start typing in keyboard, if I can spell it right, application shortcuts. So we'll just take this whole thing, we'll copy it, and we'll just click add, and paste that in, press OK, and yes, you can use the uh, super key, left super key in this example. So you just hit that once, and close this, and now you should be able to just hit the super key and it toggles on and off. Which I find, you know, if you've been using Windows for a long time and you're used to that uh, start menu, start panel type of thing, uh, you might as well use it if you, if you can. And uh, you can do other things, obviously. Um, we go back to settings here, properties, position search entry next to bottom panel well this is at the top right top left top right <laughs> top left uh, if I check that let's see what happens now it's at the top see the search panels at the, t the search entries at the top and in commands it says position commands next to search entry these things down here will be up here if I do that so I check that box and now you have the search here now, if you move this whole panel down to the bottom, it'll, it should appear here at the bottom, the search and this, I think, or the other way around, one or the other. And one last thing about Whisker is you can uh, resize it, which I think is really neat. And that's about it on that, uh, I think, yeah. So, Whisker menu, like I said, if you don't like, if you like the other way, nothing wrong with that, but if you want something something you might be used to from being a Windows user or not, or just convenience, if you find it easier to use, uh, you can use that. Okay, so that should uh, do it for this part, and thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.